my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're gonna give you four tips for having an awesome kingdom versus kingdom experience as you battle your way into Kingsland and toward capturing the Great Ziggurat. The first tip that we're gonna offer for keeping yourself safe as you enjoy this kingdom versus kingdom experience where you're going head to head against so many players is to stay on your alliance's territory. If we just get a quick look around at Lost Kingdom 55, we can see over here some number of players are on their own alliance's territory. When you're on your own territory, you cannot be attacked or rallied. That is very powerful. You don't have to worry about your hospital filling up because your city was rallied, you lose all your resources because you got raided. Stay on territory rather than using random teleports in order to stay safe. And be very careful if you switch alliances to teleport onto your new alliance's territory. The cost of losing troops and resources will greatly exceed the cost of using a teleport. The second tip is to use peace shields and to use a longer peace shield than you think you might need. You know, look, Territory often changes hands in the Lost Kingdom. Here we can see there's some territory that was connected but no longer is. Good thing these players happen to have a peace shield on, otherwise they might have been attacked. So use a peace shield and use a longer one than you think you might need because if you sleep in or you forget you set your alarm or you miss the alarm that you set to go and put a new short peace shield on or teleport away or look at the game, you never know how much territory will have changed hands. Stay safe take precautions. Now, the next thing that you can do to have an awesome kingdom versus kingdom experience is you're battling in the open field, duking it out, having a good time, is that you need to watch your hospital capacity. As you battle, you're going to see the number of troops in your hospital start to fill up. And once you reach the maximum, any severely injured troop is instead going to die. So we've got an empty hospital here, but this fills up many times over in Kingdom versus Kingdom. Be sure to heal down. And what I often like to do is to heal in smaller batches, uh, often a couple thousand troops at a time, because in a matter of minutes, your Alliance members can help you. And when they do that, you get huge chunks of healing at a time. That is in large part due to your alliance technology. In the development tab, there are troop healing boosts um, that will accelerate the rate at which you heal. And in addition, the alliance technology Together We Rise increases the amount of speed up time that you get from every help. And that will make it so you can power through really quickly getting your troops healed up and back into the battlefield rather than overflowing your hospital and having them die. Now the last piece of guidance that we will offer you for having a great KVK experience is to engage with your Alliance members and your kingdom. Know the plan. Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you taking? Know the game plan so that you can participate in a way that is awesome for you. Hopefully you found these tips helpful. If you did, like the video, leave a comment down below for what you would recommend other people do to have an awesome KVK. So get a read on those, see which ones you think you want to go do. And until next time, have fun and good luck.